Yes, my name is John McGrath, and today I want to be running through on how to work with iOS Chrome View. And now I came from an Android background as a mobile developer, so everything was quite different for me. And I believe many of you may be facing the same challenges, either as a transitioning developer or a new iOS developer. But I'm going to quickly run us through on how to make a Chrome View. Okay, so here's my template, I'm creating a new iOS app. I'm just gonna call it sample because I'm very very creative at naming my projects. Alright, it's creating. Now I'm going to be using Xcode to edit my storyboard. Uh the so if you just use a storyboard editor is nice and all, but I kind of find Xcode on more intuitive and more powerful. So right click Put Xcode interface builder. Uh, this should fire up Xcode any moment now. It's firing up Xcode. Okay. Uh, iPhone 8 not bad. Alright, fire by me. So this is my storyboard. Uh, it's uh, update my constraints. Alright, this is my storyboard. Hello world, click me. Now I'm gonna add a scroll view. And here it goes. This is my review, delete the button. I go in and drag a scroll view. Alright. Set my constraints. Make sure it's in view. I'm not just the top layer guard. To avoid having spacing at the top of the page and bottom view. Alright. It stretch and fills everywhere. Uh, now we're gonna add a view inside within our scroll view. Okay, now what I want to do is the view and the scroll view. Uh, equal with. If I wonder how I did that, it's holding control, drag from view to the scroll view. Equal with. There's errors, no, don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Now on my views, we're setting the height to the scroll view, 0, 0, 0, 0. And voila. There. Okay, so in the view we set a fixed height. It could be one thousand. Okay, now our view is longer than our screen. Uh, let's just one thousand is too much. Let's go with seven hundred. All right. So if you notice, our view is showing longer than our view controller here in our preview. But now. When we run our application, it's fine, it shows well. But for the preview, we go to the view controller, simulator size, free form, and let's set it as something like 700. So it matches with our view. Alright, fine. So we have our scroll view with our view. Uh, now to put item, let's actually test the sound. Label. Put two labels. Bottom level. We set our constraints. Actually, for the other name container, uh, align to top right. 
but uh, ah, it's stressful. So let's just go with zero, zero, zero. Yep. Ah, where is our level? Okay, let's see if, if, if it works through. So it has synced my changes. Um, uh, okay, let's go with the iPhone 8. Alright, it's building, it's building, it's building. Build successful. Here comes our simulator. Come on. Chugga, 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 chugga. Um, my brother, I, pray I should have started this before I began the video. So I apologize for this delay. Oh, never you mind then. Okay. Object reference not on. Oh, I had an earlier. Okay, I cleaned my button. I should have also commented out the code. Okay. So all should be well now. Yep. So this is my top level. My scroll view. If I scroll, the bottom level shows. Yep. So we're good to go. Top level, bottom level. Our scroll view works as expected. All right. So I'm just going to run through a summary of what we just did now. Uh, create your scroll view. Add your view. Add the view within the scroll view. Assign the scroll view and the view to have equal widths. Align the view to the scroll view's top, left, right, and bottom constraints. And set to give the view a height. Now all should be well. And we also learned how to use Xcode interface builder to edit our storyboard files. Uh, so let me just close this. That's standard French. Now I can also open this in Visual Studio's storyboard editor. But I'm not exactly a fan of this. Yep. This is why I'm not really a fan of this. I don't know why I keep doing this. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know why. So whenever I choose error like this, ah, this is an opportunity. Let me as well explain this. Now, whenever you open your storyboard in Xcode and you come out of Visual Studio, it's bound to show you this error. It is always going to show you this error. So once a storyboard file has been opened in Xcode, even if it's just once, it can be opened in Visual Studio again, except we make a fix for that. All right, now edit with source code editor. Now this node here, this device node, we take it out, save, and now it can be opened in Storyboard. Oh, it's still not opening. Okay, and we just have to stick with Xcode. Uh, yeah, my PC. Yeah, my PC. Uh, it's supposed to open. Uh, have, let me just open this code to see if it's still working or oh, have damaged the file. Uh, open the X code. Okay, it opens up S code, so I'm just gonna not use VS editor for now. But that's by the way, so I believe after all, I believe we learned how to use how to create the scroll view in Xcode in Visual Studio Xamarin and IOA. Thank you guys, subscribe, and if you have any comments, complaints, questions, always ask. If you have requests, always shoot, and I'll always be there for you. Alright, thank you guys.